Bar, brought to you by Briggs and Stratton. Here we are once again at Mosport Cartways. We love those group photos. Drivers from all across the country, our contingent of Quebecois flaggers, everyone raising their arms, celebrating Canadian Karting Championship Week at Mosport Cartways. And absolutely gorgeous facility so gorgeous someone even brought a guitar this is the final of the Briggs and Stratton masters class here at the Canadian Karting Championships in this absolutely stunning adorable beautiful most board cartways your pole sitter you can see they're a little bit older and a little bit heftier that's steven gobel on pole ellie echo has been racing for several years on outside pole jamie MacArthur. some people call him the general in p3 p4 darren kiernan darren kiernan daryl timmers is in p5 daryl timmers has been with racing cars for a few years now that's Steve McAvoy in P6. So the drivers have a little extra bulge there as they sit in the car. Corey Walsh in P7, who we've seen racing in a variety of... Our first Quebecois driver, Matthew Demers, very proud dad, Matthew Demers, will be starting in P8. Those are your top four rows here in the Briggs and Stratton Masters class. I'm gonna presume that was Stephen Gobel's daughter giving him a high five before the start of the race. The great thing about kart racing, it really is family orientated. You go, you come to the race, you set yourself up, your pits, you got the, the kids are there, parents and even grandparents, and it's just an absolutely wonderful family form of motor racing. The Briggs and Stratton, fabulous class, inexpensive, very low maintenance motor would allow people from all walks of life, whether you're an accountant or a mechanic or a, or a teacher, you can get involved in kart racing at this level. Absolutely fantabulous, fantabulous, fabulous package, this Briggs and Stratton Masters. Once again, Stephen Gobel, this is the first pace lap as they're in single file. Gives the drivers a chance to warm up their tires, their brakes, and as I often tell, say, their brains as well. You're no longer on the pits. This is no longer qualifying heats or practice. This is it, the big final. Gobel and Yanko give each other a high five. Great sportsmanship in kart racing. Always love that about this sport. Here we are, side by side as they're edging ever so closely yellow flag is to remind them that the racing hasn't started yet they have a minimum speed to maintain if they go too fast on this final pace lap then your starter will abort the race here we are just looking good to me now they're accelerating a little bit will they get the start the Briggs and Stratton masters the green flag is given here we go, Canadian Karting Championship will be determined in about 15 minutes. Steven Gobel does hang on to that first place and Ellie Yanko right behind him. See a little bit of shuffling for positions back. Jamie MacArthur is now into third place. So it looks like our top three drivers have held on to their, to their positions. Daryl Timmers, that is in P5 ahead of Steven McAvoy. Equally, they started in fifth and sixth. I believe that's Darren Kiernan in P4. So it's safe to say that everyone managed to hang on to their positions at the start. No major winners, no major losers. Steven Gobel in the K&K card, followed very closely by Ellie Yanko, Jamie McCarth, and yes, that is Darren Kiernan. It's a newer name for me, so I gotta get used to pronouncing it. Adrian Donkers now up into P7, just ahead of Corey Walls. I expect Corey to do well in this race. I've seen him race a variety of classes over the years, and this Briggs really equalizes a lot of things for the drivers. It gives everyone a fighting chance to get to the front and maybe win such an important, prestigious race as this Canadian Karting Championships. As we often see in the Briggs and Stratton, early goings of the race, especially with the experienced drivers, they do like to 
just bide their time a bit, analyze the cart, the chassis. We have, is that Matthew Demers trying to get into? Yes, Matthew Demers now up into P8 as he gets by Corey Walsh. Corey Walsh seems to be going, struggling a little bit, started in P7 and has now dropped back to P9. Oh, Aaron Lee Yanko is uh, looking at looking at a possible way to get by your leader, Stephen Gobel. But the, the interesting thing about this race is the experienced drivers who are at the front will take their time, analyze their equipment. Daryl Timmers now up into P5. Look for Daryl to join that top four group and maybe make a run later on in the race for a possible podium or maybe even a victory. Very smooth driving, which is the key really in the Briggs and Stratton program. Or like we often say in all forms of motor racing, the key is to turn the steering wheel as little as possible. Keep the tires nice and cool so they will be there when you need them at the end of the race. We see fifth, sixth, and seventh. Now it looks like they will join the party and that would be Mathieu de Mouse in P8. This is once again the Canadian Karting Championships in the Masters class. Stephen Gobel being studied, being analyzed by Elianco, Jamie the General MacArthur right behind him, Darren Kiernan, and that's Daryl Timmers now, I believe, who is now up into P5. And it looks like we might have a battle of eight or nine guys as this race plays itself out. Man, I just love this track here at Most Sport Carways. You have something for everyone. You have some combination corners. You have some fast corners and some slower corners. It's really is a great, that's Donkers in seven and Demers in eight. You really do have it. Uh, just, just like whoever designed this track thought it out very well because there's, there's a corner for everybody. You really have to work and force on your driving skills to be able to get around this circuit fast. If you're, if you're a driver who just likes high speed corners, you won't do well. You gotta really be able to ply your trade, which is why this is such a great track to develop, uh, to develop your talents as a driver. Oh, it looks now we have our top six drivers. Oh, that's uh, six, seven, and eight. Darren Kiernan is still in P4 as Daryl Timmers gets close to him. So we have the D and D battle. Darren and Daryl battling for fourth place. There we go. Daryl Timmers is right on the bumper of Kiernan. And I really expected Daryl Timmers to be one of the drivers who would be battling for this Canadian Championships. Looks like the rest of the drivers have now just dropped back a bit, and that could be difficult. Without the draft sometimes, if you're hanging out there by yourself, it's kind of hard to get the Ellie Yanko has a little look behind him and sees that it's still Jamie MacArthur behind him. MacArthur looks behind him, drivers being very calm and relaxed. To us anyways, on the outside, it looks like they're calm and relaxed. It's just, it's what they do as racers. They they analyze, they study what's going on behind them. They try and just keep the focus. But there, there are quite a bit uh, nerve wracking and exciting moments for the drivers at this point of the race. Well, it looks like they've just decided we're gonna follow each other to the end of the race battle this all out on the last couple of laps. Still in front, Stephen Gobel is your leader, Ellie Yanko. Oh, Ellie says, hey, Stephen, wake up. I'm still here, giving him a little nudge. Jamie MacArthur is in third place. Darren Kier Kiernan, I'll get the hang of that name before this race is over. Kiernan is in P4. And Daryl Timmers a drop back just ever so slightly, maybe a cart length or two, just wanting to maybe analyze everything behind him. We have our sixth and seventh place competitors seem to be getting a little bit closer. Stephen McAvoy, that is it. Stephen McAvoy is in sixth place. And Adrian Donkers, who started up in P9, is into seven. Mathieu DeMaus, the first of the uh, Quebecois drivers, looks now to have dropped back into eighth place. Well, dropped back, that's where he started. We have our top five competitors all stuck together. Anyone, everyone is just waiting for a mistake to happen so we can pounce and go forward. We see our crowd, the mechanics on looking. A lot of times for the mechanics, this is probably the most nerve wracking time of the week. You've been wrenching, you've been adjusting, you've gone through through practice, qualifying, he's pre-final, and now this is the final and the driver's there on the edge of the fence, biting their nails or anything else, chewing on gum, 
really nervous, hoping that all the work they did for the last five days is going to pay off. We can still see Daryl Timmers there in P5. Timmers is just like analyzing this whole situation. That's Darren Kiernan in the blue suit. He's uh, still in P4. We got MacArthur in three. Your leader, Stephen Gobel and Ellie Yanko in P2. I've seen Ellie Yanko come close to winning some big races. Is this going to be the one? It looks like he's driving the, That would be the Tony Kart, VSR Racing. We have K and K, Tony Kart, K and K. That would be Kieran again in P4 and Daryl Timmers in P5. Well, we're trying to get some. Uh, oh, that looked like a little bit of a make as Gobel. I'm wondering if his card is starting to stick too much. Once the tires start overheating, it sticks too much. You start to lose a bit of pace, and then it actually starts to slide a bit. It's, it's a weird phenomenon because Ellie Yanko seems to be uh, a little bit quicker right now. Maybe Ellie's got his card a little bit more or, or hooked up a little bit better. Could maybe jump to the lead. Stephen McAvoy now in P6 ahead of Donkers. No change there, so to speak. And Ellie Yanko seems to have the strongest cart right now, but he may be just biding his time. Sometimes you don't want to be leading this race. Oh, there he goes on the inside. Ellie Yanko, no, he was thinking about it. But Stephen Gobel did a very good job of protecting the inside. Jamie McCarthy is still in third place. He looks very calm there in third place, maybe hoping the top two drivers will have some sort of battle or contact which will enable him to sneak into the front. This is the Canadian Karting Championships in the Brakes and Stratton Masters class. No change to report. A lot of analyzing, it's being done by the drivers. Gobel seems to be, oh, major mistake. Major mistake by Ellie Yanko. He seemed to have so much speed. Oh, there was a bit of contact. My spotter tells me there was a little bit of contact. Sorry, folks, I missed it. Actually, I was so surprised. Oh, on the inside, Kiernan tries to get on the inside of MacArthur, but Daryl Timmers says, thank you very much. I'll take that third position. Ellie Yanko was so strong at, the, at one point, and then to see him drop back to fifth, I thought he made a mistake, but it looks like there was a little bit of contact. Now we have our two K and K drivers, one and two, Stephen Gobel and Jamie MacArthur. Top two drivers and Daryl Timmers who just seems to be getting stronger and stronger as the race went on. It's now up into P3. Don't count out Daryl Timmers in P3. Ellie Yanko, who was in P2, there was some sort of incident. It wasn't very major. I'm gonna re I'm just gonna lay that down to a racing incident. Ellie Yanko is now in, back in P5. Seems to have gotten his rhythm. His rhythm is back, his speed is back, and it looks like he's going to join those top four drivers and maybe get, get back and give himself a chance to win this Canadian Karting Championship. It looks like the two and K, the two K and K drivers are working together to try and pull away from the rest of the field, but I don't think that'll happen. Timmers is very strong. Kiernan is there. Who, who just went on? Ellie Yanko collision with McAvoy. Ellie Yanko now has dropped way back. There was a collision there with McAvoy. I didn't see what happened. I just saw the result. So Ellie Yanko had so much strength and power at the, f at the start of the race. One incident, now is another incident. Unfortunately, is not going to be at the top of this race when the checkered flag comes down. We still have some ways to go. Matthew DeMels has taken advantage of all this to now get up. So we have Donkers in five, and Matthew DeMels is in six. But they are quite a ways back. I don't know if they will be able to throw their dice onto the table and get involved into this podium battle. No change at the front. Gobel, MacArthur, Timmers, and Kiernan. These are the top four drivers right now. The K and K drivers are really well hooked up there. That's Gobel and MacArthur, one and two. Timbers is really not far behind. And Kiernan in fourth place. That's Donkers in five. And I believe that's Donkers in fifth place. Will anyone be able to come up with something for the K and K drivers? Oh, there goes Kiernan, thinking about getting on the inside of Timmers. 
easy for me to say, but that's at this point of the race, you really maybe want to wait until a little bit later to attack because if you create any kind of contact and lose the lead group, that's it. You are giving the Canadian Karting Championships to Gobel and MacArthur. They will be able to battle between themselves later on. Timmers and Kiernan still studying and analyzing the two K and K drivers of MacArthur and Stephen Gobel. Here we are once again at most sport cartways. Just absolute fabulous facility. Gives you a great opportunity to develop your skills as a driver, and we can see how good these drivers are. No real no major driving mistakes, very smooth, very cool. Gobel MacArthur, one and two in the K and K cart. Gobel really does seem to have a lot of speed and can almost pull away from the pack. We've seen that sometimes in other races where you dominate too early in the final. You know, just allow everyone else to catch up. Maybe you get your tires a bit too hot and somebody in the second, third or fourth place can make an attack later on for the victory. Oh, there he goes on the inside, Daryl Timmers. Daryl Timmers is now up into second place, and Kiernan says this might be my opportunity to get onto the podium as he tries to go on the outside of MacArthur. Can't quite make it work. So that's MacArthur in third, Kiernan in fourth. Daryl Timmers, who just looks strong in the early going in the race and just keeps getting stronger and stronger. Didn't quite see if MacArthur made a mistake or it just looked that was a very smart, well-planned move by Daryl Timmers. Oh, Timmers definitely has a lot of speed. Look at how quickly now he's got onto the bumper of Gobel. So that's Gobel and Timmers, MacArthur and Kiernan. It will be one of these top four that will probably win the Canadian Karting Championship. The reason I say probably, you never know what happens in motor racing. As the infamous Murray Walker said, Anything can happen, it will, and at the worst possible moment. Our top four drivers have pulled away from the rest of the field. We see MacArthur looking to block Kernon. That's a little bit earlier in the race to be doing that. Kernon gets by. Kernon now in a podium position, in a possible striking position. Oh, and Timmers now seems to be all over the bumper of Stephen Gobel. What has happened to our can K drivers? Did they go out too strong in the early going and now have nothing left to answer? Only time will tell. We don't have much time left to go though as Daryl Timmers seems to have a lot of speed as he's attacking Gobel. There goes Timmers on the outside, maybe forcing Gobel to take a bit of a protective line in which case Timmers will be able to maybe make a lunge at him a little bit later. Final lap, final lap here in the Briggs and Stratton Masters class. This is where it's all gonna play out. Will Steven Gobel hang on to the victory? Or will Daryl Timmers has just been so fast and Kiernan in third place has not given up either. We got the General MacArthur. That's Jamie MacArthur in fourth place who has dropped back ever so slightly going down on the outside. Oh, Gobel tries to protect Timmers. That was, oh, Timmers and Kiernan side by side as they come out of that corner. It looks like Gobel just was too aggressive in his move to protect, and he killed all his speed on the exit. That was a move that Timmers had been working on for a while. He set him up, did a brilliant pass. Kiernan took advantage, it's right behind him, but now Kiernan is telling himself, hey, this is what I've been waiting for. Here he goes, there goes Darren Kiernan. On the outside, Timmers has a lot of experience. He blocks just perfectly, uses up just enough of the road to prevent Kiernan from shooting out in front of him as they sprint down to the start finish line, side by side, photo finish, no! Daryl Timmers manages to hang on. Look at the joy and the excitement. An absolutely brilliant drive by Darren Kiernan. Daryl Timmers, winner gets a little thank you, congratulations from Gobel. Your winner, your Canadian karting champion, and the first, ah, oh, just gotta love that sportsmanship above car racing. Timmers really did a brilliant drive, was focused. Fortunately for Gobel, I just think he tried to protect a little too much there as they started the final lap. Oh, look at the excitement and the joy on, on Darryl Timmers. We can almost see him smiling through his helmet. 
Oh, just a little bit of a 360 there. I don't know what that was all about. In his excitement, Darren Kiernan did a very intelligent race. And I believe Steven Gobel did get onto the podium in P3. It looked like our top two drivers of Gobel and MacArthur, who were pulling away from the field earlier, maybe got a little, maybe their car started to stick a bit too much, or maybe just they were a little bit too excited, dreaming of winning the Canadian Karting Championship. And didn't quite make it to the end, but great sportsmanship at the end of the race. I love to see that about karting. But your winner, very methodical drive. Lots of brilliant strategy on the part of Daryl Timmers. He waited for the right moment at the right time. Your Canadian karting champion, Daryl Timmers, Darren Kiernan in P2, and that would be Stephen Gobel in P3. Oh, wow, look at the excitement. You have to realize that some of these drivers have been working for many years for an opportunity to carry that checkered flag at the Canadian Karting Championship. It takes years to develop your skills, adjusting your machine, working with mechanics, uh, support of family and friends, and oh, I can just, just feel the, the joy and the happiness of uh, Daryl Timmers. Just very, very, one of those very exciting and happy moments about go-kart racing. Absolutely great family form of motor racing. Fantastic. Just love the way the drivers congratulate each other. We'll get the officials to restart your card for you, Daryl, as you take your victory lap. Pure moment of excitement and flushing for Daryl Timmers. Wow. This has been going on for minutes, and he just seems to be relishing every moment of this. It was a very, very smart race on his part. A well-deserved victory. Unfortunately, there's a few people who could have won the race, but that's that's what that's what motor racing is all about. There's only one person who gets the checkered flag. All right, instant replay here. There we go, Kiernan on the outside, Timmers on the outside, and Gobel just got tried too much to defend his line. He went way past the apex, messed himself up a bit, and in fact, it also allowed Kiernan to get side by side by Timmers. Oh, and Kiernan, and Timmers, uh, Kiernan is saying to Timmers, no, no, you go ahead, you go ahead. I'm going to get you on the outside of the corner. But Timmers is not a newcomer to the sport, knew what to do after the major pass to hang on to his victory. Great, great finish. Daryl Timmers, Canadian champion, brings in strand. That orange cone means you have to go to the technical zone to get your cart looked at. It doesn't mean that you're going to be sitting in traffic later on. So uh, the teammates, uh, some wonderful hugging. I'm glad to see one of them is wearing a helmet because that might get a bit too intimate. This is a family sport after all. Daryl Timmers, your Canadian car. You just can't get over the excitement. Oh, great competitor. I believe that was um, not, not quite sure. The officials are happy. You know, when you're happy like that and you're an all-around good guy, uh, everyone seems to be happy for you when, when you win a race like this. There he is. G.I. Joe. We can nickname him G.I. Joe, your Canadian karting champion, Daryl Timmers. Unbelievable. He can't believe it. He's shaking his hand. Shaking his head. Oh, a little bit of damage, which happens sometimes on these... Uh, close contact sports this is a fabulous fabulous race in the Briggs and Stratton your top three Daryl Timmers Darren Kiernan Stephen Gobel Mathieu Demers in fourth David Anderson rounds out our top five in your case of course we have to ask you about emotions when you come out of the car yeah it's it honestly overwhelmed me um, I had a buddy pass away two weeks ago and and this is this is for him like it, it, that's why the emotion and right now it's taking me over and it's uh i just knew he was there with me you know it's just crazy 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 <laughs> uh, we, we we feel for you yeah. but uh, we also feel that uh, we heard that it was 20 years of participation in the yeah. in the karting business and yeah. now finally after 20 years of participating in the canadian championship you have one title i know i've i've led several races i've been taken out of several races while leaving leading i've had uh, you know mechanical failures while leading and finally the the ball was in my court and it was mine to lose and i took it home
So what made you not quit the sport after all these years, not succeeding the way you were expecting to succeed? You hung on and decide to keep going. Yeah. Why do you do that and why the Briggs and Stratton class? It's it's a passion, you know, and when, in motorsports you ask anyone and uh, everyone knows that this is in our blood. Once you're, uh, once it's it's in you, it's hard to get rid of. And um, honestly, the Briggs and Stratton program came in a little while ago and ever since then it's been great racing, you know, when we had the old motor stuff, you know, it was all about the, the money and how much money you can put into your motor. With the Briggs and Stratton program, it's it's all about let's drive. You know, there's small things we can do here and there, but everyone knows what we can do. And it makes it a great race. And so, you know, we had to top six in the first, you know, half of the race, all nose to tail. And that's kudos to Briggs, you know, we, we didn't have these packs back in the day. Cool. So we'll let you celebrate. We'll see you at the podium. Thank you. We're happy for you. Thank and, you very uh, much. He, this is something you could carry on with you for a uh, souvenir. There he is, your winner, Daryl Timmers. A better understanding of what that emotion was all about. Very touching moment. Just uh, great to see that he actually decided to make it to this race. Just uh, got a bit of a lump in my throat after that to interview Daryl Timmers. Congratulations to you, Kiernan. Very appreciative of him being there. Little disappointment for Steven Gobel. It sometimes happens, you lead pretty much the whole race, and but it's that last lap that you gotta read. There you go, pleasure, happiness, bucket of water, champagne. You deserve it. You're the Canadian karting champion, Daryl Timmers. Look at that smile of joy. A lot of pain in the last couple of days. This has been the Canadian karting championship. So long. Champ card brought to you by Briggs and Stratton.